Good morning. I'm in the parking lot at the gym. Now that the summer is ending and I'm still in the emotional release from my previous toxic work environment, but there is a new energy in me and I'm trying to embrace it. So I have been trying to get a little bit more active now. So I was like, okay, let me just start going back to the gym classes because um, I feel like I need cardio. I have gained a lot of weight over the past four years. I was counting. Um, I'm 30 pounds away from my ideal weight and I have gained about 20 of it during this past four years. So part of it, it was COVID as well and I never lost that and I kept just adding up to it. So I need a little bit more than just the weight and a treadmill kind of workout. So I wanted to push myself a little bit more. So I thought I would just check out uh, the classes at the gym. So today is Saturday and they have two back-to-back -back classes in the morning. So I'll see if I can take both of them. So at 8.30, there's a Zumba class. And at 9.45, there's a Plotty Matt Plotty class. I took the Matt Plotty last week and it was pretty mellow. And I thought like I can't be able to add on something else to it. All right, let's go inside and see if we can make it to both classes. finished the workout. I have to say the workout. I finished the workout. I did them back to back. So they weren't as intense as I thought they were. The Zumba wasn't that intense. It was just a little movement. There was one girl in the Zumba class and came with uh, hand weights, you know, the one that you put on your hands and rest, and her leg weight. I thought that was very smart to add in a little weight to the workout. And then the Pilates were a lot of stretching and holding um, some tiny movements. So uh, I feel like in terms of muscle building, it's not as intense. So I think at home, I would need to be doing something myself, like with dumbbells. And I don't know, I'm gonna look on YouTube and see if I can find some targeted muscle groups, dumbbell workouts. So um, I need to build up some muscles. I think they have decreased over the years. And you can feel it when, when I'm touching my skin, there's a lot of water and movements, not much of a muscle mess. So that's something I have to do. But it's nice to at least get you out of the house and you're in a different environment. Um, and there's some movements that you're still doing something, but I need a little bit more. I think this past four years has been very intense in terms of me not doing much at all. And so my body strength has definitely been impacted. So we're slowly gonna work on that. Let's head out home and see what we can do for the rest of the day. So I'm gonna do something fun. I am going to create a planner, a workout planner for myself. And I have some stencils that it's for, um, what do you call it, productivity. And I'm gonna create something where I could, for the next couple of months, track my um, progress and all the changes I'm gonna make. Uh, in my body. So we're going to do this right now. I am so excited to get started. I have the tape measure and I'm going to be taping myself because I want to see at the end of this progression how far I have come. So this is going to be exciting.
have been trying to find a place where I could put my phone in to tell you what I decided to do. I went to see my friends and um, they helped me to get the job with being my reference. And on my way back home, I realized I haven't taken any self-portraits this summer at all. So I stopped by um, this community college campus since the weekend, so it's pretty quiet. And I took some uh, shots. Everything worked out. I feel like the color palettes that I wore today randomly it worked out. I've just been looking for a quiet place where I wouldn't be feeling embarrassed to death with a tripod and <laughs> realized no one was here, so I took a lot of cute photos. For the camera that I used is a Canon 5D Mark III and it's a 40 millimeter lens and I have a remote control so it has a little clicker so that's what I use. It was so hot out there today. She's looking at me. Okay, this is just the tea. <laughs> the next thing is gonna happen right now is I have to jump into the shower and wash myself and my hair because uh, one of my friends is in town. She is currently going to cosmetology school to uh, become a hairstylist and uh, she's in town visiting and she offered to cut my hair and I have not cut my hair in years before COVID. I would say like maybe seven months before COVID, I went and got a haircut and it was the nightmare of my life. This lady was so bad. I, I wanted long layers and I've always had long layers. So she just went like chopping off three layers it wasn't even layers just like flat three what do you call it <laughs> like layers and it was so bad when I came home I caught the first one just to straight it out and then I kept the two and I tried to thin out the top one to blend it into the rest and ever since then I have never went back to get a haircut I have been cutting my own hair it's very difficult to cut your own hair because you can't see the back of your head. And I've been cutting my hair with her um, hair trimmer machine. <laughs> and it has worked out, but I feel like I'm getting tired of it. I've had it now since COVID time of just straight up bob. And I keep just changing the length. Sometimes I go higher, sometimes I let it uh, grow a little bit and I don't like when it's growing out too much. I feel that um, it doesn't look very well long and I really need help with creating some blended layers. Um, I really like point cut that is like flowy in um, and I'm not able to do that because I have to bring in the hair out and cut or front and cut and it's not very easy for me to do. I've been watching a lot of YouTube tutorials on cutting hair. Like I like the butterfly style. I don't know if my hair can work with that style. So I don't know. I'm going to go and see her today. She is staying in one of her friend's house and I asked whether I have to have my hair wet and she said, no, 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 just come with uh, clean, dry hair. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go take a shower and she's going to cut with the dry hair. So I'm going to go take a shower, wash my hair and show up and see what she's going to do. Crossing fingers. It's a good experience. <laughs>
beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so full of tangle, my hair. So now I want to um, make a little card for her. This is an envelope that I've had, and here I have some money that I'm going to give her for cutting my hair, but I wanted to um, put it into a nice card to give her instead of just the money on the envelope. So I thought I'm going to make a little card for her and write a little note to thank her for cutting my hair. Whenever I work as a photographer and my customers would give me a hand written note, I love that the most. It makes the pain of working so hard a tiny bit go away. So I figured I'll do the same. Something that I enjoy my customers to do for me, I can do that for her. This is the card I came out with and I wrote her some notes in the back. Turned out so childish. <laughs> she has three little kids. So I guess she's used to it, but I wasn't intending it to be so dollish. <laughs> um, all right, so let's go ahead and put this in. Let's see if it fits in it. Oh, it's so cute. Like, Okay, and then we're going to put the money in there for her as well. Okay, great. And then I'm going to use one of these circles to lock it. So I'm just going to put this down here. Okay, so this is my hair all washed up, clean and dry. And we're about to go inside and see what she can do with my hair. She has no products to be on my hair, so it's a little bit too puffy without products. Oh well, <laughs> we'll see what she can do. All right, here is my new haircut. <laughs> How does it look? So she called it, let me just put it on the AC. She called it medium layers. And I wanted something that I can grow longer. I think she did really good. That looks so different now from my chubby bob. And she gave me like a thin curtain bangs. She said that's in right now. She also gave me a little bag, bag of goodies. Oh my gosh, she put an essential oil that was lavender based on my hair. It smells so good. I'm so happy that I washed my hair right before coming here. So then that way I can um, keep this, <laughs> the oil on my hair for a while. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute. Oh, she gave me a little, let me show you, let me show you what she gave me. Um, so she gave me a shampoo and a conditioner, shampoo, conditioner. She said they're really good and let her know if I liked it. Oh, and she got, gave me high chews. I've got two candies, two high chew candies. And another one. Oh my gosh. I wish she could be more here back she used to live here now she's in chicago but she had a wedding job um with a makeup artist so they came here and they did a wedding job and so um she also stayed to give some haircuts to whoever wanted 
Oh my gosh, I love what she did to my hair. It looks so cute. It's so different than what I'm used to seeing myself. But yeah, I want to grow my hair out. I want to have like long layers like it used to be. And I'm hoping this haircut would give me that style. But yeah, that's it. All right, let's go home. you can hear me okay am i too far um so i got back home and i'm looking at my hair and it's super cute and i wanted to take some photos i'm gonna be putting in this skirt and this little top and i was thinking i would just go outside in the backyard and take some photos together um so i'll take you with me hopefully my camera is full of battery so <laughs> we'll see. Okay, we'll try. Yay, good morning. I'm so hot in this. Oh my gosh, I have another shirt. I'm gonna go change into it really quickly because I feel like this woolen top is very, very hot. It's in the back of my car, so I'm gonna go and clean up a little bit and get that done. But we finished the gym. This class at 8.30 is so amazing. We sanitize my hands. Um, and because my uh, Mandarin class starts today, I was like, I'm not going to miss it. I'm going to have to go regardless of what. It's the only class at the gym that I feel like I really work out. So the class is at 8.30 and my Mandarin class is at 11.30. So then I was like, I'm going to go to the gym to the class take a shower and then go to the next class uh for breakfast i have a toast with swiss cheese um i also have some cream cheese on the bread and cucumber this is black tea i made it two days ago in my tea maker and i just poured over ice and it's good to go i really wanted to get a better cop situation but I have a lot of things so I can discard afterwards, not carry things with me too much, but I'm looking for a cute cup that I can take care of, but I'm sweating in this. I'm going to have to go change really quickly and then we'll head out to the Mandarin class. The class ended my first day of class and everyone complimented my hair so they kept saying oh you have a new haircut i guess it's very noticeable such a difference from the bob i used to cut myself <laughs> but i can't wait for this haircut to grow because i want to see if i can have like a really nice long layer with it like i'm imagining i would have Anyways, the class is great. We have a new teacher. Her name is Miss Charlotte. 
and we're gonna have class again on Sundays and on Wednesday nights. Uh, Wednesdays is going to be online and Sundays is going to be in campus. Most of the people from last semester came except for one person which we knew he moved over to another state but we have two new additions. There's one guy feels like his Chinese is pretty good. Um, he's like the most fluent but usually whenever you are doing the placement test they bring you one, one grade down just so that you don't feel too out of place so i think his chinese is better than a lot of us and he's the one that is so much into their entertainment like he watches a lot of movies and he knew all the singers chinese singers and i'm not it's like i'm all oh my gosh this summer i spent a lot of time just watching korean dramas and like oh, i neglected my chinese a lot because in the entertainment world i prefer korean contents a lot more than chinese speaking or mandarin speaking i haven't found like the style that i liked i liked okay there was one show that i liked and it was historical drama and i was drawn into it but like you know how historical dramas have a lot of rage and violence and like like a lot of twists that are painful and i don't really like that but the korean dramas that i watch are just so light-hearted and like feel good and like beautiful visuals and cinematic and that's what i love a lot and i haven't been able to find that genre in like mandarin and chinese speaking so i struggle with that i wish i could find so if you can give me any recommendations of like similar style than korean dramas in mandarin please let me know many years ago taiwanese dramas used to be amazing and that's how i got into this whole thing of an asian culture but since then because of everything economy so it has changed and then i haven't really seen a lot of taiwanese dramas anymore but the mainland dramas i haven't been able to get into it but i feel like i need a source where i can just get drawn into it like music i tried i can't get in so there is this battle okay like for fun i'm like all in korea and then for real life i'm all in chinese and my brain my poor brain is is struggling <sighs> anyways let's go home but first uh, it's one o'clock right now and i'm craving tacos so it's a long drive back home so i don't want to go anywhere that i have to sit down i want to go home and get started with the rest of the day but i think i'm gonna stop by taco bell and get some tacos because i love love tacos these days that's what i've been craving like the most all right let's do that okay i got the food let me show you what i got I like to eat my food in the car and right after I get them because I like to eat them hot. So I got some cinnamon twists because I wanted something sweet after. But I got chalupas. There was a beef chalupa. I have two. I love the chalupas. They're amazing. It's like a taco, but the bread is um, like a gyro bread. Does that make sense? It's like a heavier bread. I love that so much. Yeah, that's what I got. Just two of these and some hot sauce. And this is what I'm gonna eat now. Came home and I was craving I have been craving coconut egg tart. Mm -hmm. And I just learned their Taiwanese name. Yes. Yetzi Ta. Yetzi Ta. So he drove me all the way to go get one. Yes. But I'm, going to get some. <laughs> but I'm not 100% positive <laughs> they have any left because it's the end of the day on yeah. Sunday. Yeah, they're always out. They're always out by then. Yeah. But we'll see.
wanted to show you what we got. I've been craving to eat the dumplings that you can fry in the pan. So I got myself a pack. And this is like a sorbet, it's plum. So I'm excited to try that. We got some mapu tofu stuff. So this is ground pork with the tofu. And this is the kind that we get. I also got loose leaf jasmine tea. We got some soup base for chicken, and this is the mushroom hot pot. We got two pack size already, like with everything. This is from double chicken, and then another local tofu. So it has the sauce and the tofu. And for the vegetables, we got cabbage, bok choy, radish. I wanted to try these Japanese sodas. I got three of them, different flavors. This is the original lychee flavor and peach. I think that's it. I could just got some other things, but yeah, I think this is all I contributed. Oh, we got mooncake. We got this mooncake. Um, we decided to go with the two because they're smaller and we don't eat as much. Um, Shin ramen. It's right now 10 o'clock. I'm super tired, so I'm gonna go get ready for bed because I'm gonna wake up early in the morning and I'm gonna be working out before work. So, I'll see you later. Good night.